God clothes the grass in the field, which is alive today, but tomorrow is thrown into the fire. So you can be even more sure that God will clothe you. Don't have so little faith. Matthew 6 verse 30. Okay guys, this is the hair straight out the box. And um, as you can see, the knots are quite clear. This is the knots. You can see them and I'm going to show you afterwards. Out of all the highlighted wigs, this colour is probably my favourite because one, it's from the root, like I really like the colour, it's very ashy, it's like they really try to tone it and I absolutely love the way it goes from light to dark because it's nothing that I usually see but I'm still gonna tone it once more because I can still see a bit of brassy tones that when you come to the ends so I'm just gonna like let it sit in purple shampoo for about 20 minutes and bring it to more of an ashy colour honestly guys you could actually leave it like this like this colour is actually so nice and it's so nicely highlighted pluck in there's nothing nothing special about the pluck in I'm gonna have to put in some work so yeah this is the hair so far so good I bought some purple shampoo I got this provoke touch of silver shampoo from Superdrug I hope it really works because I used to use the smaller version and I used to get it from Parlan and I like that actually worked so I went to go and buy the big version I think this is a new and upgraded version so I hope it actually works and it has no sulfates and stuff so I hope it works literally so I'm gonna do that and I will be back I might even show you guys the process actually this is how the hair color would look on my skin if I did not tone it I really really like the color I feel like it makes sense like it really really makes sense I thought it would look somehow but it actually looks really really nice like I could actually do this but I'm still going to tone it this is how it looks alright so now that I've washed out all the bleach from bleaching the knots I'm going to blow dry the hair and then I'm going to straighten the hair I did this so that you guys can see the styling process of me getting this hair actually straight rather than me coming on the camera with my hair already straight.
I'm going to use my foundation just to tint my lace and make it match more to my skin tone. So this wig came with a very square like hairline and a very boxy hairline. I have a round hairline so I had to customise this wig in a way that will um, complement my own hairline which is round. So that braid you see is the section that I've parted out from the hairline to create my own round hairline from the hairline I was given with this wig. Because if I was to apply this wig without doing that little customization, it wouldn't look very flattering. It would look very, very weird on my head. So when I'm cutting the lace, I'm going to cut in a jagged motion using these scissors that you can get from an eyebrow set or a nail set, actually. And I'm just going to use that to cut in a jagged motion. I use these scissors because they're really, really sharp. So today I'm actually using a hair glue. I haven't used hair glue in ages because you guys know I'm a non-hair glue babe. But today I'll be using hair glue and the hair glue I'll be using is the Invisibond hair glue. I'm just going to apply one thin layer um, around my hairline and use that to stick down my frontal because I won't have this frontal for long. So it doesn't really make sense applying two or three layers if I'm going to take it off. So I'm just going to apply one layer and stick it down.
So once I've melted my lace using my elastic band, I'm going to go in and I'm going to section out the edges slash baby hairs that I'm going to be creating. And I'm just going to create them using my Afro G hair mousse. Now that my edges are all laid, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take my Care Care wax stick and I'm just going to hot comb my hair and use the wax stick to keep the hair in place so that everything is nice and uniformed and flat and laid. Then I'm going to take a concealer that's light for me, probably two shades lighter, and I'm going to use that in my part.
hey guys so this is the end of the tutorial i hope you enjoyed this video so as you can see this is how the hair is looking so this is processed hair and the hair is so the hair is so soft for processed hair like it doesn't even make sense to me it doesn't even feel like they changed the color it just looks amazing this is how long it comes up to me just here just above my hips i'm five foot nine brother that the one that actually told me that this color really complements my skin tone and everything is just marrying each other very nicely like oh this hair is absolutely gorgeous go just the density is really really nice like i could put it in a ponytail no problem and it will lay really flat but even when it's out it still looks quite full and quite nice so the density is literally spot on the only thing i would say they could improve on is um the hairline i feel like the hairline was a bit weird you see how you see how, to, how i had to do some I had to do some customization, extra customization to you know fit to my hairline. I feel like the hairline that they gave is quite you know shape up y and I don't really have I have a very round hairline so it doesn't really complement my natural hairline. If I was to leave it like that it would look so weird. So I would advise if you have a round hairline, do what I did. If you have a square hairline, it's perfect for you. When you're bleaching the knots, be careful because this is hair is already light. Okay, when you're bleaching the knots, you wanna make sure you just get the knots because if you get a bit higher than the knots, it's gonna bleach the root of the hair. When you have black hair, it's fine. But when you have colored or light hair, it's gonna look really funny. Like, it was, the root of the hair was quite light. So I had to take some dark brown eyeshadow and fill it in and then put my concealer down the middle. Yeah, that's the only thing I had to do. I would say, I wish it was a bit more pre-plucked because I did have to do quite a lot of plucking to get to more of a natural. Even now, I still feel like I still need to do a bit more plucking, but it's it's fine. That's the only cons I have about this hair. Other than that, it's really, 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 really nice. It's so nice. This is the first highlighted wig that I'm actually very, very impressed by. I, I like the fact that it comes like a tad bit lighter than the usual highlighted wigs the usual the highlighted wigs are a bit of a ash a bit of a brown it's more of a brown this is more of like an ash blonde strap slash brown like i could get away with blonde but i would say it's still brown it's the ashy brown gingery color like it's really really nice i really really do like it so obviously in the beginning i did tone it with purple shampoo and it came out perfect like this is exactly how i wanted it to come out it looks very very nice so yeah if you all the details on your hair will be in the description box down below if you have any questions at all about this hair comment down below and i will try and answer if you have any other videos you'd like for me to do comment below and i will answer or i'll try and deliver um yeah if you want any tutorials on like maybe how I pluck, how I bleach, I have that all on my channel already so make sure you check that out and that's it. That's literally the end of the tutorial. Hope you enjoyed this video guys. If you did make sure you like, comment and subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Stay blessed, stay safe and stay prayed up.